Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to Morning Verses with Mike. Thank you for hopping in here and joining me early this morning. I hope your day has already started off absolutely excellently. So each morning, each weekday morning at 6.15 a.m., I get up and I share a single Bible verse. Sometimes we change the format up. I hope you enjoyed last week's reading from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. I would encourage you, it's a great devotional uh, book if that's something that you are wanting to get your your day started with some reading or you're closing out your night I would encourage you I think it's a great book to to uh, use to do that so I am getting back into the morning verses with Mike versions I'm going to be sharing from the New Living Translation every man's Bible this morning's ver verse as you probably saw on the previews is first Peter chapter 5 verses 6 and 7 so I'm going to start off with two verses this morning and for those of you that are joining me live please thank you so, well please and thank you please give some thumbs up and share the video and thank you so much for getting up early and joining me on this morning journey the whole opportunity is to share some faith spread the good word of God and start off people's day positively so getting into the book of first Peter I usually will share one of the reasons I like sharing from this version the the every man's Bible is because it is a study Bible and has some additional uh, notes and so like here it says what's this book about Peter writes to Christians who are suffering for their faith encouraging encouraging them to stand firm in Christ and it talks about how Peter tells husbands to treat their wives with respect and understanding and otherwise your prayers may be hindered <clears throat> So, getting into the verse reading this morning. So, it's 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. It says, So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at the right time he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. I'm going to read that again. So, humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at the right time he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. So, one of the reasons that I picked this verse, I think often we spend so much time preparing to be perfect, right? We spend so much time in preparation that we miss those moments that are happening right in front of us right the bible reminds us to quit struggling so hard to make it happen and trust that god will exalt us at the right time and place as he sees fit see you know he is a good father and he loves us so sometimes we have to let go and let him be in charge of, of bringing us glory, right? So you have to stay true. You have to stay constant. But ultimately and mostly, you have to remember to trust in God's wisdom always. You know, it's also at the very start of these two verses, it's a reminder that we must stay humble. Sometimes we have to bruise our own egos, Right? Not in the eyes of God, but bruise our own egos in the eyes of other men and women. We have to bruise our own egos in the mirror, right? Because God already knows. And God knows that we are prideful people. We'll try and work through everything by ourselves. We, we want to, to have the pride of having a job well done. So we want to try and work through it ourselves, right? And... We say, well, I can't show that fear. I can't show that weakness. I can't show this to the other person. Well, God already knows, right? So when I'm talking about bruising our ego, that's in the eyes of other people because he already knows. So in the tail end of the verse, it's rem at the beginning, it's reminding us stay humble, right? By the end of the verse, where this wraps up for me is it's speaking to me specifically. Everybody's heard the saying, let go and let God, right? The, the uh, chapter, <clears throat> First Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. To me, that sums up the let go and let God. When you have the struggle, the grind, everything coming at you a hundred miles an hour it is all of the daily things that come at us and stress us out on a regular basis right 
Sometimes just take a deep breath and let go. Trust infinitely in God. Trust infinitely in God. Because he will care for you. So that's the whole message this morning. I'm going to give some shout outs real quick because I see a few people uh, rolling through here. I got, as a reminder, I do this on my Morning Verses with Mike Facebook page. I do it on my personal page I share here. I share on the YouTube channel. If you ever want to catch past episodes, past verses that I've done each morning, 6.15 a.m. on weekdays, that's the plug, that's the reminder. If you ever want to catch those, I repost all the videos, especially to the YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash Morning Verses with Mike. So, uh, Jeff, Brent, Mark, Frank and Barb, and Arcelia, I see you. I, some of this stuff scrolls on by. Frank and Barb, congratulations on your anniversary yesterday. I saw that go through my, my Facebook feed. So congratulations that you guys are absolutely awesome people and such an inspiration. So um, again, for those of you that are joining me, thank you so much. Please throw a thumbs up. Share the verse. That's one way we can get the word out. Share this video. Uh, and then also do me a favor, share a verse that's impactful to you because the Bible speaks to each of us differently at different times in our lives. So if you have a verse that's speaking to you, if you have a verse that's impactful to you, just share it in the sidebar, uh, share it in the comments of the video, and let's continue to have a conversation. Pastor Nate, hey man. I see you there. Thank you for, for joining me this morning also. So uh, if if I didn't see your name scroll by there. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I really, really do. And uh, go do good today. Thanks for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Until then, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. We'll talk to you soon, everybody.